Hi guys, Todd here. A little while ago I did a review for El Thunder uh, and it was a mechanical mod and my summary went something like this. It's a heavy little beast but it's small and big fan. Big fan of this. And yes, I did like it. It was a single 18650 mod and I'll put a link for that review at the end of the video. Uh, I would suggest that you go and watch that because it will cover nearly everything that's in this video as well. The reason for this video is that they just sent on the latest version which is the 2700 one and I have this one here. Uh, but they also sent on the original light version which is this here and it is made from aluminium. This it displays next to nothing. This is a single 18650 mechanical mod this one. And I also have their own dripper as well, which I'll give you a quick look at the end. All the pricing and all the technical specs shall be given in the close-ups. And as usual, we'll have a summary at the end. But for now, close-ups. We'll start off with the 2700 version. And once again, it came in this little, I think it's like, I don't know, it feels like balsa wood, this thing. With a little leather wrap around here. Just take that off. And here we go. We do have a little card here that gives you some detailed information on the mod and also some ad safety advice on the other side. When the mod arrived, uh, these pieces were actually inside. So we have an 18650 battery adapter here, which I'll come back to in a little bit. Same as the last mod, we do have two spacers. So we've got a 3mm and a 4mm spacer here. And if I remember right, these are silver plated copper, these little contacts and they just pop out. You can just take them out like that. And then if you want to change the throw on your switch, you know, you can pop that in instead. It really depends on the length of the 510 pin on your Atty. But if you find that you've not got enough travel in your switch when you're firing, you can try changing these little guys out and see if it actually helps. If you do want to use the 18650 adapter, uh, Take the spacers out altogether, and then you want to use this one, and that's just going to pop in there like that, and then you just pop in your battery doink in there. So I'm just going to take mine, putting mine positive down, that's the way I like to run this mod, and then just pop this in here like that. There she goes. Screw this down. And then I would pop my atty on top, and that's me good to go. And as soon as you've got your atty on there, it takes out any rattle. I mean, there's no rattle there just now anyway. I'm going to put on the, the thicker one here. This is the 4mm one. I've got uh, an Amp King 2700 battery. Just drop that in there like that. Pop that on there. Uh, I should point out that this is all self-cleaning this. You know, when you're actually pushing the switch up and down and it's getting turned round, you know, these contacts are actually getting cleaned as you do that. But just grab this, pop it on there. Screw her down, and that's me good to go. And you can see that we have, you know, a vent hole at the bottom there. And that is why I'm putting my battery facing down the way. I've just popped on their own RDA there. This is a 24mm RDA, and you can see that how it looks on there. Fire it away. No problem at all. And I do like the fact I can pretty much push anywhere in this. And it just fires every time. I've never had any problem with the old L Thunder and I have no issue with this switch either. Uh, it's a good mod. I mean, you're looking at about 86.7 uh, millimetres in length. And yeah, I'd say it's geared for a 24 millimetre RDA on the top. You would get a 25, but I suspect you'll have a tiny, tiny little overhang on it, which is a bit of a shame. But you do have a serial number there. L Thunder 2700 and once again this is brass internals and we've got the same finish it's like a Cerakote but it's it's really well done and I'll talk about it when we go back up top. Now the little brother this is uh, an 18 single 18650 this is how it came this is for the light which is just pure aluminium and I'm pretty sure you can get this in just raw aluminium or you can get it in black aluminium as well or black coated I should say. You do have the specification on the back. Once again, you will get the, the two contacts, you know, the silver plated contacts here, you know, that you can adjust your throw with. And it's basically the same. Just 
unscrew this here just now. Take that off. And out comes my battery. And that is pretty much it. There's not much going on to this. I mean, it's just raw aluminium. It's as light as a feather. I think this is about 55 grams, if I remember right. With But you can see that the, the actual, you know, it's kind of different. It's not exactly the same as the L Thunder or the 2700 version. The leaf system, if you like, is reversed. It's actually on the switch rather than the actual body this time. And just to show you, there's the, the standard switch that's on the 2700 and there's the switch for the aluminium version. So they've kind of switched it round. Once again, you can change these out if you want. Pop this on here. And that's it. I'll use their own RDA once again. No issues, I can push this pretty much anywhere and, and it will fire. And once again, if I wanted to change the throw, I could just put in a different spacer. I will say that the RDA, I'm going to have to come back to because my throw, I, I really I haven't had this long enough to test it properly. I've not been vaping much for the past week, so I've not been able to really test this. So I'll have to review this at a later date. Now this summary will be much the same as the, the previous summary for the other L Thunder mod I reviewed. Quite simply because it's basically the same mod. It just now takes a 2700 battery or you can still use an 18650 battery in it. I, I, no issues. I really like this. It was one of my favourite mech mods from 2017. It still is. It's incredibly, it's simple. It, it's very simple in design, but it works well. And I, and I think the finish on it and the way it performs is just stellar. And for a 2700, it's, it's small. It is, I mean, just for a comparison, uh, here's the the Ronin, which is a, a competition mod, uh, and this is a single 18650, and, and, and look at the difference in size. So it just gives you an idea. It, they've done a really, really nice job in it, and there are different finishes available. Uh, the aluminium one, you know, the, the only real difference is, is you know, obviously I'm, I'm stuck to a Sorry, uh, the only real difference is that it's very light, very, very light. This only takes a single 18650. They've switched the way the switch works. You know, the, the leafs, if you like, are not on the body, which they are on this. They're actually on the button. So they've, they've changed that round. It doesn't seem to affect it in any shape nor form. I do find for me that the switch just seems a little bit better on the, on the 2700, but that might just be in my imagination. Uh, how they perform for the way I build, I mean, as low as I go, is, <laughs> if I'm feeling brave, is a 0 0.15, 0 0.2. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot vape like that just now, but I'll give this a quick blast just now. Here we go. That's about <coughs> <coughs> wow. That that's more than I can manage just now. Yeah, I'll just cut through the bullshit. Very good mix. Very very good mix indeed, and I am quite a fan of them. I do like the raw aluminium. I always have been a sucker for it, and I'm going back six years. I I used to love nothing more than getting an aluminium mod and just keep taking it to the buffing wheel and just making it a mirror finish on it. And I'm, I'm really tempted to do that with this one. Um, they're good. They're very, very good. I do go into more detail on the mods in my previous review. So, you know, go and watch that. There are, are lots. I think the Bogan's done a few reviews on the L Thunder stuff as well. So go check his videos out. But thanks to the guys for sending these on. I'm sorry I can't go all cloudy and show you these performing that well because I'm just still loaded with the flu. But I will do my best to get a proper video out for the RDA at a later date. All the links for buying these devices are in the description. And until next time, bye for now. To the side of me here, you will find two videos that I think you may also be interested in. As always, please feel free to leave comments in the video below.